Hello everyone, and thanks for stopping by my channel, Buy, Rebuild, Flip and Repeat. Have you ever wondered how to age the inventory at Copart and IAA auctions? Well, it's a pretty simple procedure once you know how to do it. And today, we're going to show you how you can tell the difference between a, an insurance vehicle and a dealership vehicle. It's very easy to do. We're going to show you how to do that, just that right now. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at IAA auctions. This particular auction that we're looking at right here is Wichita, Kansas, which is tomorrow for us. Uh, I'm in Tulsa, so I do buy a few up in Wichita. But uh, IAA really makes it real easy for you, but there is a method to their madness as well. And we'll, uh, we'll go over that here. First of all, what I wanna show you is the stock number. Let me see if I can zoom in here. And you will look and you'll notice that on every IAA vehicle that comes through the sale, the stock number will always start with a two. Uh, it's been that way for, for years uh, as far as that goes. Uh, they don't, uh, when the new year comes around, the number just keeps going up and up. The two remains the same, but the rest of the numbers are sequential. Uh, like, for instance, right here I've pulled up uh, Wichita, like I said before, and uh, this stock number on this uh, Ford Edge is 27960075. Now, you can discard the first number, the 2, because they're all 2. But the second number is a 7 nine six the zero zero seven five that is their stock that is the actual stock number and that number goes up as uh, they are checked in worldwide so uh, that is the number you want to pay attention to with uh, IAA naturally this one we'll uh, we'll look at it right quick on this 2011 Ford Edge and uh, see if we can pull it up here okay one thing about Copa, I mean, one thing about IAA that uh, they make it easy for you. They really do. Uh, like I said, this is the latest stock number at the Wichita sale. So this vehicle is the last vehicle checked in that is selling in the sale uh, at Wichita tomorrow. Now, if you look right down here, you will notice that there is a date. It says 624. 2020 and the day that I'm uh, doing this video is uh, June 25th. So this vehicle was checked in at Copart to sell yesterday So it, it, the inventory is one day old and it is a, just basically a guarantee That this will be a dealer vehicle uh, insurance companies usually take 30 to 45 days uh, sometimes longer a lot of times longer actually but uh, the earliest I usually see them is about three weeks, and uh, we'll go over that here in just a minute. Um, you know, IAA is really good about telling you uh, if it is an insurance vehicle or if it's a uh, uh, or if it's a, a dealer vehicle. They'll just simply won't state the seller. We'll uh, we'll look right over here. Sorry if I'm a little bouncy. I'm trying to hold a tripod here, and uh, if you look right across here um, this is that 2011 let me zoom out a little bit here this is that 2011 uh, Ford Edge and if you look right over here on the edge seller let me get my little cursor up here let's see right right here it says seller there's nothing marked right here you know, because it's a dealer vehicle. You know, I mean, it, that's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's going to be a dealership vehicle. Now, if you scroll down through, I've, I've already uh, hit the search feature over here for the stock number. So I've got everything in line with the latest one that they checked in to the oldest one. The oldest one, of course, be at the bottom of this list. And we'll just go through here, and you can see, see, all of these vehicles do not list the seller. So they're they're all going to be they're all new check-ins and they're uh, they're all uh, dealership vehicles. Now you got Enterprise Vehicle Exchange that will be mixed in there. 
you know, enterprise, uh, you know, they're, they're self-insured so they can get a vehicle to the sale a lot quicker than an insurance company can. So you'll see a few enterprises in there or other rental car companies for that matter. But uh, flooded in here, you know, if it doesn't say anything on the edge where it says seller and it's got a pretty late stock number, then it's going to be a dealer vehicle. Let's look at another one right here. Here is a, uh, let's see if I can pull it up. I'm trying to do two things at once here. Let's see. Okay. 95 Saturn SL2. Uh, doesn't list a seller on the end over here. We'll pull that up. Stock number is 278. 78 is the first two that we pay attention to here. And what do we got? We have a check-in date of 6-18-2020. So that was checked in a week ago. One week ago, that vehicle was checked into the sale. So that's going to be a dealer vehicle. Unless, now, uh, donation vehicles are also... Uh, uh, that same way, but most of the time they will tell you it'll say charity on uh, on the IAA part and then it'll say donation on uh, when it comes to co-part, but uh, this is, that vehicle was checked in a week ago. All right, we'll go on down through there. All right, we're still Enterprise selling their vehicles in here. Okay, State Farm. There's the first one, State Farm. Now, the first ones that you will see that will be in the sale that belong to State Farm. Let's see here if I can zoom this in. Um, this is an 08 Chrysler PT Cruiser. And the stock number on it is 278-40875. All right, let's look and see when they checked it in. This is State Farm. It says State Farm on the edge. This is the newest inventory for, uh, for State Farm or any insurance company that I saw on the list for that matter. Now, this one was checked in on June the 9th. June the 9th. So that was roughly almost three weeks ago. All right. I'm sorry. About two and a half weeks ago. Okay. Now, that's pretty early for a vehicle for a salvage vehicle real early and a lot of people would look at that stock number and if it didn't say state farm on here you know like right down here at the bottom that it says uh, state farm insurance as your seller you know a lot of people might think this eh, is this a dealer vehicle you know well there's a reason why this car has come through the sale so fast all right the first ones that you will find that will be here with uh, with an insurance company tied to them that come through the sale that fast will be vehicles that, let me see here. It'll be vehicles that are older usually, you know, and, and what the deal is, is those, comp those vehicles have been, uh, you know, the people that owned them, uh, they're paid for. They don't have a lien on them. They're not having to go and get a lien release and that delays the timing of get them, getting them through the sale. They have title in hand. They hand it over to the uh, insurance companies and uh, they're able to get them in the sale a lot faster because they just, they don't have to wait on lien releases and such as that. So uh, I'm looking here, let's see if I can zoom out. And, uh, and like I said, that's an 08 Chrysler PT Cruiser and it's with, with State Farm. And uh, the next one that I see on here is a uh, 2017 Corolla, which, you know, I'm going to bet, even though it's pretty new, you know, a lot of people, they go into a, to a store dealership and they just pay cash for a vehicle, you know? And so it being three years old with State Farm, it's probably, uh, probably one of those cases where, uh, you know, where they just paid cash, didn't have a lien on it. That's why it's coming through the sales so fast. Uh, we go on down right here. There's a 2004 Pontiac Sunfire. Uh, again, 16 years old. It won't have a lien on it. It comes through the sale quick. State Farm owns it. 2008 Chevrolet HHR. State Farm owns it. Again, uh, no lien to deal with. So they get it through the sale quicker. 
Uh, next one there, 2006 Chevy Colorado. Uh, it's also owned by State Farm. Again, you know, they're, uh, they're getting them through the sale because of uh, uh, not needing a lien release and, and waiting on that. Uh, we'll just go ahead and pull up this Chevy Colorado and we'll just see when they checked it in. All right. Here's the Colorado that we've been, been looking at. Let me zoom out a little bit. And the date on it, if we look, is 6-5 of 2020. Today's the 25th. That's 20 days ago. It's been three weeks. You know, three weeks. Take them three weeks to process this thing from uh, paying the claim to actually getting it in the sale. I'm going to bet you didn't have a lien on it. That's why it's in the sale so fast. All right. We'll go back to the results page. And it will pop it up. Sorry for the delays. Okay, let's let's go down now. Now that you've kind of seen this work and you see these stock numbers, you, you'll notice that they're, uh, they are all in a sequential line. Uh, they're, the numbers, you know, go up. And, and as you, we go down this uh, list here, you know, we're looking... This one here is uh, 27810954. So the 781 is the one to pay attention to. This next one here, it's a uh, 780. This next one right here, 779. Notice there, the numbers are getting less and less all the time. Here's one 7798. And then we go uh, down right there. That one there is 7797. Again, getting lower means that they're, uh, they've been there a little bit longer than, uh, than other vehicles. Okay, now we're going to go down to the bottom. Sorry for the scroll. I hope that uh, you don't get dizzy here. <laughs> we'll just go down to the very bottom and we'll look. Again, the IA makes it real easy for you by having that two at the front because uh, it's real, real easy to... Uh, to age their inventory, not to mention the, the convenience of them putting the uh, date that they take the picture. Okay, now we're down here at the bottom. And if you look, that's a 95 Honda Civic. And the number on that thing is 24079715. So it's a lot lower number than those 2779s we were seeing up above. Let's click on it and see just how long it's been there based on the picture. Okay, here we go. This is the 95 Honda Civic, just exactly what I'm looking for, a, a rusted out 25 year old Honda. <laughs> but anyway, let's uh, right down here, if you will look, it will say on here, 12-31-2018. So, they took the pictures on this car New Year's Eve of 2018. So this car has been there almost a year and a half. Well, a little more than a year and a half, actually. It's, uh, it'll be a year and seven months, you know, uh, July 1st. So this one here, this is the oldest car in the, uh, in the sale tomorrow. And uh, so let's, go, let's now go to Copart and we'll see how uh, they do theirs, okay? Hang on just a minute. Okay, one more thing I would like to mention. You know, I was, I was telling you the insurance companies, you know, will usually be uh, on down in the list. You know, you'll have your dealer vehicles first if you uh, sort your list by way of stock number with IAA. Your highest uh, stock numbers will of course be the uh, dealership vehicles. And then as the uh, numbers get lower, you'll start seeing uh, different insurance companies uh, that are here. And, and, you know, IAA makes it real easy for us because uh, uh, over here on this uh, end, they put the insurance company's name, whether it's Farm Bureau or Progressive Insurance or USAA or State Farm, you know, they're all in there. Now, uh, they also will, uh, you'll, you'll go through there and you'll see a few blank spots, you know, and, uh, you know, there'll be, like for instance, this 2011 
uh, Ford Fusion, you know, right here that we have. Uh, let me make sure I'm on it. Uh, yeah. This car here got a 2719 number and uh, it was checked in uh, 214 of 2020. And uh, so this car has been there uh, four months, you know. Sometimes, uh, you know, they have a little problem with settlements and, and such as that. And it takes a little bit of time to uh, get a lien release, like I mentioned earlier. So uh, this one here, just uh, this one in particular, does not have a seller listed uh, on here. Let me get over there so you can see it. It says seller. There, it's left blank there. Uh, but that does not indicate all the time that, uh, it's, a, that it is, uh, not an insurance company. Uh, you get a lot of, there's a lot of smaller insurance companies, you know, that might sell, you know, four or five vehicles a year, uh, out there in the, uh, in the sale. And so they're not listed, you know, so it's very important to, uh, go over and check that date, you know, as to when it was checked in. And if it's, you know, three or four months old, then uh, chances are it's going to be an insurance vehicle because, uh, you know, a dealership just isn't going to take a vehicle out there, let it sit for four months and not sell it. You know, when they take a vehicle to the sale, they are taking it to sell it. And uh, it will be in the sale the following week or maybe the next day. And uh, they want their money, you know. Uh, I know because I've done the same thing. Uh, I've taken mine... Uh, some of mine, the uh, trade-ins and such as that to uh, Copart. And, uh, you know, they're in the sale the following week and uh, I usually sell them, you know. And so the stock numbers, of course, will reflect that. They'll be higher and, and such. So let's, uh, that was one more thing I wanted to mention before we, uh, we get into Copart. So without further ado, we will uh, go to Copart's website and uh, we'll see what, what they have. Let's see. Okay, here is Copart's website. All right, uh, I have not did the uh, the lot number uh, sort so you can see. I can show it to you here. Right here, it says lot number, and you click on that, and it will bring them up. Now, uh, Copart is a little bit more tricky. One, they will not, for the most part, unless it's a really big insurance company, will they list who the seller is. They just, they never have, you know, that's just the way they are. And uh, so that's just the way they roll. And their lot number that they have, which is the same as a stock number with IAA, uh, is a little bit trickier. You know, it's not the same like... Uh, we're seeing here these numbers two six five two and IA's got a two as their first number and such as that. That's not the case with uh, with Copart. Uh, Copart does not use the two; they use a different setup. Uh, let me click on this and then I'll get the latest uh, numbers up here for you. Uh, okay, all right, here we are. All right, I'm going to scroll down a little bit because I want to show you something. This is how you tell on Copart uh, how early their inventory is, or I mean, how to age their inventory. What Copart does is it's by year model, or I mean the year that it's checked in. So if it's a 41291600, like we see in this example right here, like right there, that, that is a sequential number all the way to the zero at the end. Now, uh, that tells me right there that that, that that is the latest checked in vehicle in the sale. Now, you're probably asking me, well, you know, it's not at the top of the list uh, to indicate that it's the earliest one. Well, the reason for that is, is because if you look above it here, you will see... Let me go up here and like right there, that one is 53371529. Okay. That vehicle was checked in in 2019 because it's got a nine at the end of it. That means 2019. So uh, that vehicle has been there at least six months uh, since they, uh, they checked it in. 
so, uh, so you, you want to check the number at the end. And if it's a zero, it's the latest number. And they will sequential up from there. These numbers here are higher. That means that they were checked in. You know, like uh, the example below with the Silverado, this uh, 2007 Chevy Silverado here, it's checked in 4129. The 4129 is roughly June 25th. You know, it's been checked in in the last week. So, uh, you know, these numbers up above it that are higher, like this 4973, that means that that vehicle was probably checked in um, you know, around um, August, uh, maybe late July of last year, you know, because the number's a little bit higher. They start over with their numbers. They don't start at zero or anything like that. I'm not really sure exactly where they start at. I want to say that the first number is a one that they start with, but the thing that's consistent on Copart is the last number. That last number is your key. If it's a nine, it was checked in in 2019. If it's a zero, it was checked in 2020. If it's an eight, which rarely you'll see now, that means it was checked in in 2018. There's a few out there. They do come through the sales every once in a while. You can pick them out. They're kind of hard to find, but you want to look at that last number and that'll tell you, you know, when they was checked in. Let's, we'll just look at this little, uh, this is a wrecker is what it is. Let's pull back here. It's a 07 Chevy Silverado, and uh, you got to buy it now of, uh, of 8,000 on it. You know, it's on a minimum bid. You know, it is a, uh, it's an off-site sale. So, you know, it, it's got everything going for it that it's a dealership vehicle. You know, there's a dealership or an individual or you know, somebody like that is selling this vehicle. It's not an insurance company. Definitely not an insurance company. You know, it's been checked in recently. It's not. It just isn't going to be. There's just no way. Now, let me get back to my, uh, my list here. Okay, now, all of these, like for instance, let me see if I can, I'm having to look through my camera here to, to find it. Let's see here. Let me zoom in right quick. All right. Let's look at that uh, that Volkswagen Jetta right here. That's a 2019 uh, Volkswagen Jetta, and it's got a stock number of five one seven three five three one nine. That means it was checked in in 2019. So. Uh, you know, it, it's it, it's been there a while. You know, this this car has been there a while. Uh, it says over here, uh, Oklahoma certificate of title salvage. The seller, if you see there, seller USAA. USAA's had it. It's a hail car. Got a retail value of twenty three thousand six. And uh, once again, the twenty three thousand six on this car was. Uh, when they checked it in, <laughs> you know, the car has been there almost a year. So, uh, you know, naturally in a year's time, the values went down because in 19, that was, you know, it's checked in 19, it's a 19 model. It was current year at the time. It's a hail car. You know, we've got a lot of hail cars coming through right now. A lot of people might think that this is a recent hail car, you know, but it's not. Uh, this car has actually been there for uh, almost a year and uh, we'll be selling uh, tomorrow in the sale you know and i actually have it on my uh, watch list to see what it does it's at 5400 another thing too with copart insurance vehicle pure sale most of the time you know not all the time farmers insurance won't pure sale them they'll uh, they'll put them on approval but uh you know uh, with uh, this one here usaa most of the time they're they're going to sell it you know they, they don't put anything on reserve so uh, good thing to know, but check the stock numbers. There is your key to, uh, to figuring out if this inventory has been aged. Now, one more thing. We'll see if we can pull it up here that I look for to uh, see if it's a dealership vehicle. We'll go back up here. Now let's turn it around. Uh, let's see. All right, let's go back down here. 
where the later ones was, like that Chevy Silverado. Okay, right below it, let's see if we can zoom in here. Sorry. Hey, I'm, I'm going to be the first to tell you, I'm not a YouTuber. I do this for a living selling vehicles and making money on them. So, uh, please excuse my, uh, my skills here. <laughs> my skills in the content so uh let's uh, let's look at this car right here it's a 2011 hyundai sonata been checked in really recent it's got a rebuilt title on it, it says it's minor dents and scratches and uh, we'll pull back out on that all right now uh this one here uh, it's going to be a dealer vehicle uh recent check-in you know, and uh, you know, based on the uh, on the stock number, uh, not in the well, it does say run and drive, so it is a, it does not have a number indicating it's run and drive uh, in tomorrow's sale with 3027 as the number, but it does have an R up there for for run and drive on it. Uh, if you could see it right right there next to the Sonata SE, there's an R there that means run and drive. But the number on it's 3027, which usually is not a run and drive for uh, my sale here in Tulsa. Uh, Oklahoma stick of title, rebuilt once again. It's, uh, it's on approval, as we see right there. And so, uh, yeah, you know, that just screams uh, rebuilt title. Now, if you see one there that's a rebuilt title, it, I'm going to put a plug in for you. Uh, auto auctions IO you know run that VIN number through auto auctions IO and uh, more than likely you'll pull up the pictures of it before whenever they f before they fixed it and how much it brought and all that you know and uh, it's a good source so anyway um, let me see if I can pull one up I'm, I'm trying to show you something in particular that I always look for to be able to tell a dealership vehicle or, or to give me a good clue on one Let's see, let me find one here. Uh, let's, uh, we'll just look at this 2012 Toyota Prius. You can tell that I have not uh, scripted this at all. <laughs> uh, this is a 2012 Prius. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. 2012 Prius. If you look, it is, it's on approval. Okay, now what I always look for if I'm trying to find out on a dealership vehicle, one, the stock number, and that stock number on this one is, uh, is 4115-5410. So that tells me that it was checked in fairly recently. And then the other thing that is a dead giveaway, I mean a dead giveaway for a, uh, for a dealership re vehicle here in Oklahoma, as far as at my co-part yard, it says, if you look there, it says uh, document type, and it says Oklahoma Certificate of Title, which means it has a good title. Uh, the part that I want to illustrate, though, is the P. The P at the end that's in parentheses right there. If you see that, that tells you that that is on the title delay. And uh, I have never, ever seen an insurance vehicle sell on a title delay. And I've never seen a, an, a, a donation vehicle sell on a title delay. That means that Copart does not have the title in their possession when they brought it in and it's gonna sell as a delay. And that is a red flag for it to be a dealership vehicle. You know, look for that right there, that Oklahoma stick of title or your state, look for that P at the end. That P will tell you that Copart does not have the title yet and they never ever sell one uh, that I've ever seen uh, on a title delay and it be an insurance vehicle. So. Uh, that's something else to, to look for uh, whenever you're shopping at Copart. Copart will not show you. Uh, they will not give you a date like uh, IAA does in their uh, photos, you know, as far as that goes. Uh, you know, you strictly have to look at that stock number, you know. Uh, they're not going to tell you the uh, seller most of the time, unless it's a big insurance company like USAA or Farmers Insurance or, or something like that, you know. But even like my own home Copart yard, Liberty Mutual Insurance, uh, they're not listed. They won't list them on there uh, as the seller uh, that I've ever seen. So, and they're a pretty good size insurance company. So uh, you really have to pay attention mainly to the stock number 
and do your research and, uh, and figure it out. You know, figure out what the uh, uh, if it's a dealership vehicle or if it's if it's actually insurance. Now, one more thing. You know, you've looked at the stock number and such as that. I also look, especially if I'm, I'm looking just by pictures alone. If you look on this picture here, you will see in the background. Let me see if I can pull it up on. Let me, I'll just highlight this thing. Okay. All right. If you look right there in the background, you will see uh, green uh, scenery. You know, as far as this, this is green right here. You know, that is uh, trees and you know uh, such as that foliage. You know, a good dead giveaway. You know, if uh, it's been there a few months you know the picture will not have the green scenery it'll be uh, dead trees you know because the thing was taken in you know january february march before the uh, the leaves came out and uh, and so look at the photos and look in that background and uh, see if uh, what the foliage looks like you know that, that will date it because as soon as copart gets it into their inventory uh, they will take the pictures so uh, you know, you can look at Mother Nature and maybe get a timestamp on uh, on when they actually uh, check that vehicle in. Let's see if I can find one for you. We'll look and based on this stock number, we'll do one more before we quit here. Um, let's see. I have to look at next this last year. Uh, if I'm if I can find one, let's just go back. Um, Sorry, I hope I'm not uh, making y'all dizzy. Let's look here and see. Yeah, that, once again, if you look here, like this 2016 Ford uh, Fiesta right there, this one here, uh, 39191960, that's a whole lot lower than the uh, the four four one something number that we had earlier on the uh, on the Chevy pickup. Uh, this uh, Winnebago 39091680 and then uh, let's see here uh, this one here right there you know you can see that it's uh, 3904 uh, 2730 and uh, they just keep going down like the next one 38988080 that's aging your inventory you know, don't pay attention to the last number. Just look at the first set of numbers. The zero tells you the year once again, and then the uh, the rest is a sequential stock number. Let's see if we can get an age here. Let's let's go back a little further, and we'll have it here in just a moment. Okay, let's go down here at the bottom. What's in the, we're in the 366 numbers now. Uh, 365. You know, this is going to kind of be the sweet spot of a lot of the insurance stuff. Um, I was hoping to get one that was a little newer here, or as far as older stock number. Let's go to the last page. We'll see what we come up with. I'm trying to pull one up. Okay, here we go. This is a 312 number, this little uh, freight liner right here. 3124-2460. You know, it's a long ways from the from the 400 numbers we have now. Okay, uh, once again, I was telling you about Mother Nature and, uh, you know, looking at it and seeing if you look back there in the background. Let me see if I can pull it up a little bigger here. That's HD this, get it to looking good. Okay, all right, if you look, you will see there's no foliage on the trees. It's all dead, you know. So this immediately tells me that this vehicle was checked in in, you know, February, March, something like that, you know. And uh, it's been sitting there three or four months and uh, uh, it will definitely be an insurance vehicle. Uh, like I said, a dealership is not gonna let their vehicle sit there for two or three months before they finally uh, send it through the sale, so. Okay, that concludes the video today. I hope that you uh, enjoyed it and that you uh, learned something. That's the main thing uh, with my videos is that you learn something from it. Always remember that Copart stock numbers 
the last number will always indicate to you the year. And then with a IAA number, it always starts with the two and then the rest of them are sequential. So the higher the number, the newer the inventory. So um, I've used that for years. It's worked really well for me to age the inventory at Copart and IAA and to be able to uh, weed out the uh, inferior inventory and uh, strictly uh, concentrate on the good stuff. So I hope you found it in interesting. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe button. You know, I'm not a YouTuber. I don't make my money off of that. Uh, but you know, um, the feedback is really helpful. You know, once again, I apologize for the shakiness of the video of me uh, filming the screen. Um, I will get better at that. You know, once again, you know, I, I said, um, <laughs> I'm not a, a YouTuber. Uh, I do this for a living as far as buying and selling cars and making money with them. So, uh, I hope you have a great day and, uh, We'll catch you next time.